Please stand. Hymn number 18. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Serve you the Lord, heart filled with gladness. Come into his presence, singing for joy. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Know that the Lord is our creator. Yes, he is our father, we are his own. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. We are the sheep of his green pastors, for we are his people, he is our God. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Enter his gates, bring in thanksgiving. Oh, enter his courts while singing his praise. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Our Lord is good, his love enduring. His word is abiding now with us all. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Honor and praise be to the Father, the Son and the Spirit, world without end. All the earth proclaim the Lord. Sing your praise to God. Serve you the Lord, heart filled with gladness. Come into his presence, singing for joy. All the earth proclaim the Lord, sing your praise to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Today in the church, right across Jamaica, we celebrate Mission Sunday. It is always a good time for us to do this, as we are and have been for a long time missionary territory. But we want to turn it around this Sunday as we look on it, and see how we can answer each of us our cause to be missionary. Because the gospel, the word of God, still has different corners in our country to be reached. The word has to be preached. The message of God has to be brought to our country. And so as we begin, we want to take a moment to reflect on those times when we missed the opportunity to spread the word of God. We confess together. I confess, I confess to all Almighty, Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Look upon your abundant harvest and be pleased to send workers to gather it, that the gospel may be preached to all creatures and that your people, gathered by the word of life and sustained by the power of the sacraments, may advance in the path of salvation and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says this, shout with joy for Jacob, hail the chief of nations, proclaim praise, shout, the Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. See, I will bring them back from the land of the north and gather them from the far ends of the earth. All of them, the blind and the lame, women with child, women in labor, a great company returning there. They had left in tears. I will comfort them as I led them back. I will guard them to streams of water by a smooth path where they will not stumble. For I am a father of Israel, 
and Ephraim is my firstborn son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What marvels the Lord work for us? Indeed, we were glad. What marvels the Lord works for us? Indeed, we were glad. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seems like a dream. Then our mouth filled with laughter, and our lips there were songs. What, what marvels the Lord works for us, indeed we were glad. The heart in themselves said, what marvels the Lord work for them, what marvels the Lord works for us, indeed we What marvels the Lord works for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will reap when they reap. What marvels the Lord works, works for, for us. us. Indeed, we were glad. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seeds for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord works for us. Indeed, we were glad. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every high priest has been taken out of mankind and is appointed to act for men in their relations with God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. And so he can sympathize with those who are ignorant or uncertain because he too lives in the limitations of weakness. That is why he has come to make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor on himself, but each one is called by God as Aaron was. Nor did Christ give himself the glory of becoming high priest, but he had it from the one who said to him, you are my son. Today, I have become your father. And in another text, you are a priest of the order of Melchizedek and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Hallelujah, anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, I am the light of the world, says the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, a pity on me. Many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, a pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage. Get up. Jesus is calling you. He dressed at his cloak sprang up and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received the sight and followed him on the way. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, brothers and sisters. Morning, I'm here asking the Holy Spirit to hold me back from what some of the things that I used to say since I saw the camera there. <laughs> and I'm going to get a very team homily this morning. <laughs> I have to watch my mouth. We just heard a line from the gospel that we um, heard. When Jesus asked the man, what did he want? And he said, Lord, I want to see. Lord, I want to see. That is the cry of a missionary. Lord, I want to see. That is, I want to see the Lord in this world around me. I want to recognize the presence of God in all things around me. So the cry of us, all of us as missionaries, is to ask God, I want to see. Because we believe that in truth, God is amongst us. God is here. God moves with us. And we want to see God. We want to recognize God in our lives. We want to recognize God in the world in which we live in. There are those who say God does not exist. There are those who say religion has gone too far and has nothing to offer. But we, want to see God in our world because we know and we believe that God is there. And so that is the first thing that we ask when we say, I want to take up my mantle as being a missionary because that's what this Sunday is reminding us about. Each one of us through our baptisms have become missionaries of the word of God. It is our responsibility, the responsibility of each of us to spread the good news to bring God to others. And we do it because we believe that we want to see God. Because we believe that God is in our midst. There's a way in which we are being told today that religion has to be contained. There are just too many vulgarities and too many abuses and too many things that are wrong that seems to be coming out of religion. 
And so uh, all across the world, and it's going to happen here in Jamaica, we want the state to put restrictions and barriers on um, religion. Put strictures, restrictions and barriers on the practice of our faith. Because it seems to a lot of people that it has gone too far. It has just taken over. And there have been things in the news most recently that makes us wonder if religion produces these types of vulgarities and these types of um, um, behavior. And I want to say that it's because each of us as individuals have not taken up the mantle to be missionaries and to speak the word of God. When we join in, in, some, in um, some group, even um, here in church, we kind of take on the culture of the church and there's no challenges that happens anymore. We do things the way that we're supposed to do. We obey and we go along. But that has never been the issue with the, um, with the church. That has never been the issue with being a missionary. We have to take the word and we have to challenge everything that we are seeing so that the people can receive the word of God because we believe that God is there. We believe that God is in there and needs, people need to hear. But first, we have to be convinced of that, each of us as individuals, that we have a mission to carry out, that we have to spread the word of God. We have to be the ones um, who take it. And this thing that we say, this is the way things are, this is the way we do it. A good Christian does this and a good Christian does that. It's just given in to a structure that is not the right structure. Do you know in Jamaica, we ha there are a number of things that are in the history book um, that we don't know that came out of the church. And one of them was after emancipation, when Catholics were then allowed to come into Jamaica because before the Catholic Church was banned. There were priests who would go up into the hillside. They never, there was no motel up there for them to, to stay over and you know, bring up an app on their phone and say, hey, I'm going to stay over at this place tonight. They had to sleep amongst the people, and they did, and they learned. There are stories of them going into where the farmers were, and you know, so if, if, you, if you know about the countryside and so, there would be little huts and stuff out there, but when it rained and then if night catch you, you stay out there, they slept in there with them. And they found out. But when they came back into town, people were saying, into, um, where, the, where most of the priests were and the, most of the church was going, people were saying, that's not the thing, that's not what we, we're supposed to do. You're supposed to build a church building, gather people in there, have a rectory around the back um, for the, the priest, and you, so you just come out on Sunday. And so they were being challenged to not take the word of God to people where people were. Because that's not the way it was done. And we tend to think that way. We do church in a particular manner and you're supposed to fall in line. There's a structure, there's a culture, and you must know your place. And for too long that has happened. We know our place, and so things go on. One of the most horrifying experiences I had was visiting the, 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 what they call the castles in West Africa, where it was the last place that Africans who came to the New World uh, under very horrible conditions, was the last place they saw of the motherland. And in those castles, in the middle of the castle, was a chapel. So there were people being um, enslaved around in the castle and in the middle of it were the chapel so that the Christians could go to church right in the middle of everything. And that's how it was done. And anyone who spoke out was say, maybe you shouldn't be here. Maybe you don't belong. Maybe you don't fit in. And so people did not. It went on. They went and they praised God right in the middle of that horrible suffering. And that was a Christian chapel right in the middle of the castle. You know, we can look back at those things and say, boy, if I was there, what I would have done? 
I would have gotten a laser gun and just blow up the place, which prevents us from looking at our situation here. Because we need now more than ever, brothers and sisters, to be missionaries. We need now more than ever to bring the word of God to each other. It is a call for us to reclaim that gift that God has given us to spread the word of God. And we have to do it today. It is true, brothers and sisters, that we don't know our theology. It is true that we don't know the scriptures well. It is true that we don't really know the, tra the, the deep traditions of our church. It is true. One of the ways I would put to you to get to know those is to challenge people out in your regular world who talk about their Christianity, ask them questions. They are going to challenge you in ways that you don't know how to answer because it, you don't, we don't know all of the scriptures. We haven't studied theology. They're going to say things to you that you have never heard before and baffle you and you won't be able to answer. But the right thing to do is to say, let me check on that. And then you step back and let that be a challenge to you to go and learn about your faith, learn about the scriptures, learn theology, learn about the traditions of our church. So one of the ways that we can challenge ourselves to get to know God um, better is to challenge others. Let them challenge us in our ignorance and just admit it, yes, we have a lot of ignorance. Let them challenge us in our ignorance and then we go and learn. So don't be afraid to spread the word of God. Don't be afraid to say, I am going to be a missionary. And when I come up against a challenge that I don't know the answer for, the right answer is, I'm going to check that out and come back to you. I'm going to go learn about that. You have a point there. Make me find out for myself. My older sister, when she moved um, to the US, all of them run and leave me now. I'm the only one left here. When she moved to the US and they, they got married, her, when, she get, when she went to get her first child baptized, because they're all brought up in the Catholic Church, the priest there said something racist to her, like, why would you baptize your child? Are you really Catholic? Something like that. So she and her husband, who was Catholic also, they said, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. When they had the second child and went back, same church, because they're living in the area, and another priest up there made another racist comment, the both of them took out themselves, my sister and her, uh, my brother-in-law, left the Catholic church and went and joined one of those things. I'm reminded of this because of the, the camera. And, and I went and visited her new church. There were cameras everywhere. It was glorious, a lot of money. Everybody threw, threw them tied, they had padded seats and everything. The preacher was very good, that's all I did. They left the church. They never challenged the priest to be a Christian. They didn't challenge him and, and say to him, I also am a missionary, and you can't say those things. You can't speak to me like that as a man of God. Those are things that should not come out of your mouth. And then let me go and find out where in the church I can challenge you on what you said to him. They didn't. They just say, I leave the church. We have to take seriously, brothers and sisters, that we, each of us, has been given the mission to be missionaries. Each of us. And we are going to encounter things that we don't understand and we disagree with and we cannot explain. But we believe that because God has sent us out, God will give us the words that, are put into, that he will put into our mouth to bring the word of God. But first we have to take up our faith that we are missionaries. And so I challenge all of us, myself included, on this Mission Sunday to take our mission seriously, to bring the word of God, to spread the good news. Because in the church and in religion and in Jamaica that is moving away from Christianity, we need this missionary spirit to be revived, to be brought up, to be brought out. And every one of us has that mission. So let us ask God for the courage. Let us say yes to God. I'm a missionary. 
that we will carry out in the world in which we live amongst the people with whom we touch shoulders are not supposed to touch because of COVID, but want to touch, whatever, out in the world in which we exist to bring the word of God to others. Amen. Let us take this time to say the um, prayer for vocations. God our Father, in baptism you called me by name and made me a member of your people, the church. I praise you for your goodness. I thank you for your gifts. Father, bless your church with love. Raise up in Jamaica good and holy families, loving husbands, wives, devoted parents and children. Raise up from our families and friends, dedicated and generous leaders who will serve as sisters, priests, brothers, deacons, and lay ministers. Send your spirit to guide and strengthen me that I may serve your people. Follow the example of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name I offer this prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith together. I, I believe, believe in one God, God Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all of things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this World Mission Sunday, we cannot but speak about what we have seen and heard. We remember Jesus. Jesus is called to go into the world and proclaim the gospel. We ask God's blessing through our self-giving and speaking about our faith. The good news of Jesus may be proclaimed to all nations and peoples. Your response, let us pray to the Lord. Let Here. us pray to the Lord. For an increase in our own missionary spirit, that we may be fervent in our faith and in experiencing the power of God's love, that we cannot help but proclaim and share what we have seen and heard with the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, first missionary of the, of the church, and all the missionaries and martyrs who give their lives to tell the glory of God among the nations, that they may be loving, wise, and holy witnesses of Christ our Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. For the cause of Pauline Marie Jaricot, who founded the Society for the Propagation of the Faith, when she organized circles of ten to offer daily prayers and pennies for the missions of her time. As her inspired work continues to support missionaries today, may God grant her sainthood. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray. For the leaders of nations, that they may be committed to justice 
for all peoples and dedicated to building a world of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in missionary charity, that our spiritual and financial sacrifices may help the message and the love of our Lord be made known to the ends of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are ill or who live in a spiritual loneliness, especially as we recover from the pandemic, that they may unite their sufferings with the crucified Christ for the redemption of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us remember those in our parish, those we know, those we care for and our love, who are sick at this time, for God to bring them to good health, and for those we know who have died, that their souls may rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God our Father, you bless us with the gift of faith, increase our faith, and give us courage to speak about it and share it to the ends of the earth as we answer our baptismal call to make, to take part in the worldwide mission of Jesus. We ask this for your, our Lord, your Son, Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world. Amen. Amen. Our collection hymn this morning. Please be reminded it's for propagation of the faith. Hymn number three, 200, sorry, 234. That's 234, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Hymn number 234. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian. In my heart, Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. loving in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in a Christian in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O oh Lord, upon the face of your church, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may, may be exalted among the nations. In every place, a single offering may be prepared for your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your voices. We'll, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It yes. is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things. Giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was the, in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creatures. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 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 Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure off offering may be offered in your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit 
graciously make holy these gifts we have brought for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night before he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here, and we believe that you will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Kenneth our Bishop, and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family you have gathered here, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this world, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Yes, I believe, I agree, it is so. Amen, amen, let the world hear a cry. Yes, I believe, I agree, it is so. Amen, amen, amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. Let us come up for each other and sign of peace. Oh, 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 wonderful Lamb of God. Oh, 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 oh wonderful Jesus. You take away our sins. Have mercy. On us. Oh, 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 wonderful Lamb of God, oh, 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 wonderful Jesus, you take away our sin. your peace, grant us your peace, grant us your peace today. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not, not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. At this time, we offer an act of spiritual communion to those who are unable to receive the blessed sacrament. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn, hymn number 504. That's 504. You shall cross the barren desert.
You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign land, and they will understand. Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you Pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drop. If you walk amidst the burning flames, you shall not be armed. If you stand before the power of hell and death is at your side, know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always Come, follow me And I will give you rest Blessed are your for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if wicked men insult and hate you, all because of me. Blessed, blessed are you. Be not afraid. I go before you always, come follow me, and I will give you rest. You shall cross the barren desert. But you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know your way. You shall speak your words in foreign land, and they will understand. Stand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. 
I go before you always Come follow me And I will give you rest Our oh, thanksgiving him Hymn number 424, that's 424, there's a man in the hills, and I don't know where he leads me. <clears throat> there's a man in the hills. And I don't know where he leads me, but that man in the hill beckons on, whispers come. And his eyes flash with fire, fingers gone, feet so calling, 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 be alone, spins a Trails of love behind him calls to wishful travelers be alone. There are faces in the sky, but I follow. man in the hills calls me home, whispers come, and his eyes dark with fire burns the Echo, echo, echo in a dream. Spins a dance, waves a song, leaving trails of love behind him. Calls to wishful travelers be alone. There are valleys soft and green, and a gentle sister's promise. But that man in the head calls me home, whispers Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, 
that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, sister. We are tasked with becoming missionaries of God. We are tasked with challenging ourselves so that we can get deeper into our spirituality and help others on their journey to Christ. Thank you so very much, Father Shields. We so appreciate the history and the, 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 the charge that you have brought us this morning. Thank you so very much. Um, do we have any visitors this morning? Hi. What's your name? Tiana. Rihanna. Welcome, Rihanna. Thank you for joining us. We have mass here every Sunday at 8, based on what um, the Prime Minister says. <laughs> any visitors online, we'd like to thank you for joining us as well. And we meet here every Sunday at 8. You keep our please. Um, you are free to join us every morning, every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you for joining us this morning. Our sick and our shut-ins, ladies and gentlemen, please remember to keep in touch with them, pray for them and with them where possible. We know what is happening with the COVID. So we're asking if you could just give them a call, stay online and pray with them. To a reminder to our parishioners and friends, the financial status of the church needs to be maintained in spite of all the challenges that we have been experiencing. Accordingly, we are requesting you to continue making your weekly and monthly contribu contributions, even though we are not here physically. Envelopes are available at the church and transfers may be made directly to the church's account. A reminder also that pre-registration for attendance at Mass on no movement days is required and each person is required to have a permission form to travel. Forms are available here at the church. Our feast day, Thursday, October 28, will be celebrated on the feast day with the Mass at 5.30 and there will be no communion service on the Wednesday before, which is October 27th. So usually we have Mass on Wednesdays at 5.30, or communion service, and we won't be having any this Wednesday. We will be celebrating our feast day on Thursday instead at 5.30 p.m. The Saints Easy newsletter for September has been posted in the WhatsApp group, and we're asking you to kind of just take a look at it. It's an interesting read. Um, for anyone who is interesting, but just take a look at it. The Chancery The Chancery is having a short six week course uh, at the St. Michael Theological College on from October the twenty sixth to November the thirtieth, twenty twenty one every Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m. And the, 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 this will be the spirituality of synodality. And Father Donald Chambers will be heading this, and he's the Secretary General of the Antilles Bishop Conference. And this course is a useful follow-up to Bishop Clyde Harvey's presentation on synodality in the Catholic Church on the road together. It's a class, it's a Zoom class, and you may register at www.stmtc.edu.jm slash short courses. It's four thousand dollars per person or thirty US dollars per person, and this is and will be posted. It's already there, but we can also post it again on the notice board. Also, the Youth Commission of the Archdiocese Chancery is offering a virtual grief counseling session on the 31st of October 2021 at 5 p.m. via Zoom. 
and youth, youth workers, youth leaders, and young adults are particularly invited to attend this session. It is hoped that the presence and participation of the youth in this event will make them better able to navigate this time and build them as missionary disciples as we move towards a synodal approach to ministry. This also will be posted on the notice board for all to see. You so you can have as much information as you need. Reminder of COVID protocols. The community spread has been taking place at a rapid pace and all persons over 18 years of age are encouraged to get vaccinated. Persons interested in liturgical calendars may now place your orders with Miss Pam. Each copy is $350. We want to put in the orders early so we can make the orders early and we can do it at one time so everyone will get their copies um, at once or as soon as possible. Any birthdays this week? No? If anybody cel everybody celebrating their birthday online, happy birthday to you and we wish you God's rich richest blessings. Continue to pray for you. Any wedding, wedding or on the other anniversaries? No? Again, the same to you. Anybody online that's celebrating any other anniversary or wedding anniversary, we will continue to keep you in our prayers. Does anyone wish to have special prayers this morning? Please come forward. Oh, we love you with the love of the Lord. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. I am praying for you. For That's all from me for the announcements, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a wonderful and holy week. And remember to keep the pro COVID protocols and try, let us try to accept the challenge Father has given us to be missionaries of Christ. Thank you. Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us now go to the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our recessional hymn, hymn number 124. That's 124. God's spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. God's Spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do. What I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can, that they can see. And set the dumb children free. And go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. And go tell everyone. 
reward the news that God's kingdom has come. Just as the Father sent me, so I'm sending you all to be my witness throughout the world, the whole of the world. He sent me to give the good news to the poor, tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see And set the dumb children free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go tell everyone The news that God's kingdom has come don't carry a load on your back You don't need two shirts in your pack A workman can earn his own keep Can earn his own keep He sent me to give the good news to the poor Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more Tell blind people that they can see And set the dumb children free And go tell everyone The news that the kingdom of God has come And go tell everyone The news that God's kingdom has come what you have to say don't worry because on that day God's Spirit will speak in your heart will speak in your heart he sent me to give the good news to the poor tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more tell blind people that they can see and set the dumb children free and go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come and go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom